All right, folks, I am here with my buddy Howard, and he has something so cool that I really wanted you guys to see it. He's got a way to process his own lumber, firewood. He's got a mill that you've kind of, I mean, it started out as one thing, and then you continued to work on building it. How did it start out? What was it originally? No, it, it was a sawmill. It was, uh, this was actually my grandpa built, built it probably over a hundred years ago. Uh, but, seriously? Yeah, but it stood in the trees for 50 years and all rotted away. So I, I dug it out and rebuilt it on metal frame. But a lot of the parts are still original like the, like the head block. Stuff. This is called a head block? No, that's all original stuff off this old wow. mill. But I, I just re, rebuilt it all on iron, uh, like a trailer house frame. And it was all wood frame, everything. But, so it's, I kind of used it as a design and redone it all. Okay, and cool. of course, I've got a gas motor. He originally would have run this with a steam engine. A steam engine? Mm-hmm. He had a steam engine. Okay, well, can you give me the overview of how it works? Because you've got an engine, you've got the blade, you've got, is, this is obviously some kind of track. I don't know what I'm looking at. Can you can you tell me the overall how it works? Well, you, you adjust your log on here. So wait, wait, hold on. Let me, let me ask. So okay. I got a log now from the forest. Okay. What do I do with it? Well, you put it on here. Put it on one here. On, one on here, ready to go. And you're gonna cut it off. You're gonna cut it, turn it, and keep until you get it all squared to the biggest size you can get. And then you'll see what kind of lumber you want to cut out of that. But you cut the slabs off at first till you get it square. Okay, so yeah. that's what I'm doing. I'm adjusting this here. Yep. Yep. And then this is gonna slide, obviously, into the blade. Yep. So you're adjusting how much you're going to skim off. Yep. And then over there, you've got your power. Mm -hmm. And so this is a gas engine. Yep. And then obviously that big spinning thing of death over here <laughs> is uh, your, that's the cutting blade. So you don't put your tongue on that. Do not put your tongue on that. <laughs> now, what's the auger for? The sawdust. Okay, so it comes ah. in. So you've got the, the spinning. The, the blade is spinning, and it's obviously going to create a lot of sawdust. Yep. So then that's just to kind of keep it away, to keep it away from the gears and stuff? Well, if you don't have the auger, you're going to be, you have to shovel it out, and you're going to be shoveling about every log you cut. It really? Takes, <laughs> it, it takes a quarter, quarter inch cut, so you make a lot of sawdust. Yeah. So... All right. Well, do you mind? Do you mind showing us, like, from scratch, how this works? Yep. Almost. Come on, baby. You can do it. It's like a truck engine. I was thinking the same thing. And it sounds like it runs better than our van. Okay, so it's gonna warm up some. Got jammed up while the engine was still cold. As you can see, it is pretty cold out here. So the engine's warm now. So then you, okay. So now you flip it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
see you. So how big is this right now? It looks like it's about six. I well, it's about six by seven right now. Six by seven. So we'll cut her down to. We'll get cut down to a square. You want a square, okay? So we'll All right. We'll make a, it'll, it'll square six inches. Right. Howard, you might want to try not to reach over the saw blade for the slab. Yeah. So in that amount of time, looks like you made something that's like a two by six and then some, well, about four two by fours. Two by six, four two by fours and a, uh, and a board. Well, this is flat out impressive, Howard. I got to say, I will say though, um, for those watching, this is probably not what you would call an OSHA approved safety area, right? <laughs> 
Good day. <laughs> but you've been using it a long time, and you know what you can do, and you know what you can't do. Yeah. Or that's what I we'll... don't know if anyone has ever has gotten hurt on this way. Well, I haven't been around it long enough. <laughs> so, but I got to tell you what. Now, question. This this guy here was slipping like crazy. Is that on on purpose? Yeah, it, it, it does, going forward. Going forward, uh, this here wheel goes against this one, and that drives your carrier. Forces the carrier, forward. okay. And to back up, you pull it back, and that tightens the belt, not reverses it. Okay. Now, you've got a gear that's actually going down into the ground here. Well, What's that, that one? That runs the auger. Okay, that runs the auger. Yep. Wow. So, for all of you guys who are doing back to Eden gardening, you got to come see Howard. He's got plenty of sawdust for you. I don't know if they want sawdust for that. I thought they did. Is that they the back to Eden or? Oh, the wood chips. I don't know if sawdust does this, is the same. Well, uh, I'm sure we'll hear in the comments. Because I thought I heard that you don't use sawdust, but I don't know. It's the same stuff. I don't know. So, this engine came out of a, was it a truck? No, it's an old combine. An old combine. Yep. Well, I got to tell you what, your ingenuity is pretty dang impressive. And um, so, if you were if you were milling wood, you got your logs. I see you got your uh, tractor over there. How much wood do you think you could do in a day? If you're saying I want to make two by fours and I have the logs. I don't know. You think, I don't, know. I, I don't need, <laughs> I, well, I know, I don't, well, let's say a lot. Would that be fair to say? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, so Howard, uh, I am honestly impressed <laughs> and this is super cool. And I guarantee you there's a lot of people who are going to go, wow. <laughs> and then there's probably going to be some people that are going, how does he have all his fingers? <laughs> you got to, you got to be careful. Well, I did, uh, I did, uh. I had my hand on a log here one time, and this and this fell, and it, it went through my finger and pinned me to the log. But other than that, I have got to Did you did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I'm very careful now where I put my hands on it. Imagine that. <laughs> so, for those of you out there looking to do your own mill, the uh, moral of the story is keep your fingers away from all sharpened, flying and spinning objects and things that can grind you, right? And this is balsam. Balsa wood? That's what this is. Oh, you can make those little airplanes you get for like a dollar, right? Yep. yep. Okay, so what, what, actually, though, seriously question, though, what would you use balsa wood for? Well, I'm not sure, really, what, I just had some of them trees, I thought I'd cut them. I'm not sure how good a lumber that is or not. Be good for making boats. It's light. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we really appreciate you showing us. And actually, I know this is kind of not part of the whole the sawmill video, but Howard also has some really cool vehicles. And so I'm going to say goodbye, but then we'll show you this these cool vehicles after the goodbye. We're so take them for a drive. Now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>